Go ahead, Jason. Yeah, I, had a question. I had a question. I just heard that Habitat now has some kind of lawn service. I didn't know if that's only for their own homes and, and their homeowners, or is that open to the general public for residents and for businesses? I just wanted some more details on that. Yeah, very good. Um, you know, this maintenance division, we developed this in December, and really the the whole issue behind it was that we noticed a lot of folks losing their jobs in the community, and that did not exclude our Habitat homeowners. And we said, we've got to do something, keep our homeowners in their homes so they're not facing foreclosure with Habitat. And uh, so what we did is we came up with this new maintenance division. And what it is designed to do, it serves the community as a whole, businesses, individuals who need their lawn mowed, need maybe shrubbery trimmed up. Um, maybe they even need office cleaning. We've had several clinics, um, hospital clinics and things like that, who have called and said, I need office cleaning. Can you send your crew over here and we'll sign a contract to have you clean on a monthly basis. And so it's different businesses and individuals like that calling us, signing contracts. Now we can we can uh, actually offer uh, a rate that is more affordable than most companies out there. And if you've noticed, when people have a decrease in pay or lose their job, the first thing they do is they cut those services they were once getting. So what we're saying is let us offer you that service at a reduced price. And here's the really good thing about it. The folks coming out to do that service for you are our homeowners. And so in turn, we're able to pay those homeowners the wage that they need to stay in their home with us. So, Jason, does that answer your question? That answers it. Thank you very All much. All right. And, and for, for Jason's benefit and the benefit of anyone else who, who might be interested in this uh, particular question, how do people get in touch with you to find out about the maintenance jobs program, uh, cleaning programs, whatever, yeah. in general? Go ahead and call our office. You know, we've got it on our website, Habitat, the number four, humanity.org, or you can call our office at 239 652 Tell them you want to hear about the maintenance division, you want to sign up. We'll give you free estimates on the jobs that you uh, want to have done, and you can go from there. And, and if someone wants to get involved in the program as a worker to yes. get paid doing this, that would be the same yeah. Same group to call, same numbers. Right now what we're doing is we're employing our Habitat homeowners first to make sure they stay in their homes. Now we've actually come to a point where we're saying almost to the, we may open this up to the community because it's grown larger than what we even thought. We've got 40 contracts right now uh, with, with businesses and individuals. So we may be getting to the point that we are hiring those in the community to help them stay in their homes as well. But at this point, we haven't gone to that yet. All right. Uh, Habitatforhumanity.org is the website, correct? That's Trish? correct, And yep. the phone number is 239-652-0434. So, Jace, I hope that I helped you, and uh, thanks a lot for calling. We appreciate your question today. How about uh, Sue in Cape Coral? Go ahead, Sue, with your question. Yeah, hi. Um, I heard Habitat's not doing as much new building as they used to. Um, so what kind of opportunities are there for volunteers right now? Yeah, that's actually a really good question because we've had a lot of people who have said, hey, you're rehabbing. We heard that you don't have as, as many opportunities for volunteers because you don't need as many. So what can we do? We actually have quite a bit coming up this fall, and we're gearing up for it. Uh, besides our everyday, um, the thrift store that we have located in North Fort Myers and also in LaBelle for folks to go ahead and volunteer in, and uh, also in our office, we've got bulk mailing opportunities. In the fall, we've got quite a few fundraisers that we're planning, and we're definitely going to need some volunteers to help us out with. One I'm thinking of off the top of my head, we've got a playhouse raffle coming up in December for children's playhouses. We need volunteers to help us build these playhouses playhouses and uh, help help us raffle them off. So um, that's just one of many, many of the fundraisers we have coming up. And that's what we're really encouraging our volunteers to get involved in doing with us now. And, and as we mentioned a moment ago, even though you're rehabbing houses, not building houses from scratch, you may not have to bang hammer and nails, but you can roll a, some paint on a wall or vacuum a carpet or, or something. There are skill levels that uh, are different now and less intense and, and less, uh, um, I, I technical. guess, less technical, mm -hmm. thank you, uh, than if you were building from scratch and had to learn how to frame a wall or put in studs or anything like that. Now there are other things that a normal homeowner would know how to do, 
uh, about you know painting walls and, and that sort of thing. So there are still uh, plenty of opportunities. Sue, thanks so much for your call. We do appreciate it. Uh, Teresa, you, you talked about um, waiting to get into your home. You picked Cape Coral. Uh, you're hoping to, to line up a home. What, um, what brought you to the Habitat for Humanity program itself? You're a single mom. You've got three kids. Uh, what, what brought you to Habitat? Just um, the opportunity to be able to own a home. I know in today's economy and the way things are that I couldn't afford just to be able to go out and just buy one of these fancy houses or just even a house in general. Um, what I like about Habitat is that they make it affordable and their main concern is you and not exactly how much you make, but they want to make sure that you can afford it and that you can, you're able to give that home to your family. And, and so they're, it's, it sounds like they're interested in the person and not necessarily the, the money that they're going to make or anything like that, which, exactly. which of course is, runs contradictory to the normal trend in buying homes. Uh, not that not that that's a bad thing. Everybody's got to make a living. We understand that. But in the case of uh, you know folks like you, um, this is an outlet for you, and this this is an opportunity for you to own your own home and and be proud of it. Oh, most definitely, and it's the greatest step I could have ever have taken. And did you pick Cape Coral because it, the the home will essentially be convenient for your kids' schools or anything like that? Um, Cape Coral was picked because I've been here for twenty two years and. My kids go to school in the Cape, and I work in the Cape, so that's what I'm familiar with. And, and so Habitat was able to accommodate those needs for you? Yes, they were. All right. Well, Therese, thanks so much. We're going to check uh, with uh, someone on, uh, on the line. Chris, go ahead. Oh, I got two questions. Go ahead. Um, first question is, how do you decide where to build about your home, number one. And number two is, how, how do you decide which family will move into the home? All right, Chris, we're, we're having trouble with our connection with you. We're going to take you, you can take the, the call offline, okay? Just keep listening and we'll answer your question, all right? Appreciate you calling. We had a little audio problem there. Uh, Trish, do you want to answer that? Who decides yeah. who gets a home and, and who decides where it goes? Yeah, absolutely. It, and you know, this is a good time to even um, mention a very important thing that we have not stopped building by far. We're, we're still building in all parts of Lee County. So we haven't stopped building. Where we decide to build a home is basically where we've got the land, where we can buy the land at a good price. And we're also looking for safe neighborhoods to build our homes. So if we've got a, a, a lump of lots in a certain area and we're offered a really good price on there, we're going to build on them. Or if, you know, somebody comes to us and says, I want to donate this property to you, we're going to take it. Um, if it's something that's buildable, it's something safe for our homeowners, that's what we're going to do. Um, and then as far as deciding which homeowners get which homes uh, or move into, um, the way we do that actually is, again, that first come, first serve, but they get to name their preference where they want to live in Lee County. We're going to try to uh, get them that first preference that they want, or uh, you know, if we have to go to the second preference, we'll do that. But it's, you know, whoever finishes the program, whoever uh, gets to their number of hours first. We say, all right, this is the next address up. It's in the Cape. That's what you asked for. So this is the one you get. So they can't actually come in and say, I want a corner lot uh, on this street in Lehigh Acres. They cannot do that. So it's it's kind of like a, a random uh, type the, thing. The choices are somewhat limited, understandably, yes. uh, depending on where you have the property and or in the case of the foreclosures or short sales, whatever you want to call them, uh, the rehabs. Um, depends on what's available. And are the, do you have a waiting list? 